What is up guys, this is Morton Power 35 here and today um, I have a best class setup for the VMP. Now I was looking through some of my um, some game clips just to see if I had any gameplays with my VMP and I found one and it just happened to have all the right um, attachments, perks and everything that I actually do run on my class. Um, this is actually the, um, the new map Knockout from the Eclipse DLC. This is actually my favorite map. I've done a review video on it already but um, today I just want to go ahead and get into um, what all I'm using on this the setup and uh, you know hopefully it'll help you out now a little disclaimer this is just an opinion based video um, this is just what I think works um, you guys can go and and uh, you know tweak things change it to way your style of play um, I'm more of a running gun with this class so um, so yeah let's get into the video now obviously I'm using my own um, VMP as my primary weapon with no optics because the um, the iron sights on this gun are really really good now this is what I love about Black Ops 3 I love um, the iron sights are really really good in Black Ops 3 um, you know they're they're really clean really crisp crisp you can see very well with them um, and they're just all around really really good so um, yeah I don't use any optics normally the optic I would use is an elo but it uh you know it doesn't really really affect me much um, I would just you know want to use that on um, point in the pick 10 system to use for something else now we're gonna move to the attachments I'll always these are on every single one of my classes this is a staple of my setup I use the quick draw and the foregrip now the quick draw is just so that I can aim faster get my gun up so I can so I can attack and uh, get better um, reaction speed to um, to winning gunfights, you know, the name of the game is always speed and always winning gunfights, um, you know, and just trying to be the quickest you can to get your gun up, and quick draw allows you to do that a lot better. And I also use grip because this gun has an insanely high recoil. Um, it's It's been buffed, uh, or the recoil has been nerfed actually. Um, the gun overall has been buffed um, since the game has come out. It was nerfed a little bit. Um, to, to where you would need a stock, but I, I don't see a problem with it. I don't really use a stock, as you can see on the setup. But um, but yeah, it's just it's um a great overall class setup. I really like it. It's great for medium ranges um, and things like that. I, I love this gun. It's one of my favorite submachine guns, other than the Kuda. Um, now we're gonna move on to my secondary. Now I did a case opening a couple of weeks or about a month ago actually and all I got was wrench so I've been trying to run around get some gameplay with you guys for you guys of this gun or this melee weapon um, just so y'all can see what it is I really like it it feels really satisfying to use it just to knock people outside the head and uh, you know get that little crunch sound when you hear them get hit upside the head with it and uh but yeah I normally don't run a secondary but I've been running the wrench just so if I run up on somebody that doesn't have, um, that it's just they're not they're not paying attention, they're not focused on what's behind them, run up, knock them upside the head. Um, now on my Xbox One, I'll either use my Malice or my Butterfly Knife or my um, Brass Knuckles in this spot. Now we're gonna go down to the Lethals and the Tacticals. Normally I don't use these, but for this class, I really really like how this is set up. I use the C4s. I didn't. Really you know like them as much in black ops 2 but um i, I kind of like the c4 in this game it's a little i think it's a little bit more powerful but i'm not sure um i could be wrong there but um it's just something like if you want to clear out a room you could throw the c4 into the room blow it up and what i like about this one is that they can It'll arm or it'll detect somebody as they're coming in or they're moving around with C4, which they didn't happen in Black Ops 2. It was always a random thing. But now you'll know when somebody's there and you can just set it set it somewhere. Hear it activate, blow it up, and kill somebody. Stun grenade, and then my tactical is a concussion. Um concussions are great with this class setup. You can um you know just chunk one into a room that you know somebody's in, run in there with your VMP and light them up um 
and it's just it's great. I love this. I love the way this is set up for the DMP, um, and how it works out. Now onto my perk twos or my perks. I don't run a perk one just because I play hardcore. Um, I should be running, you know, a um like blind eye or ghost or something. But for right now, I'm not. Um, what I'm doing is I'm gonna be running my. I just running no perks. I'll run two perk twos and one perk three. Um, for my perk twos, I'll use fast hands to pair with my quick draw so that I can aim my gun faster after sprinting and just, just all around getting that gun up faster, switching between my wrench and my VMP um, so that I can, you know, be quicker, you know, in getting everything, getting my gun switched and everything like that. Um, just all around, um, all around great. It's helped me out so much to get better, um, to play better. And then for my second part two, I use Annie up. I don't go on streaks as much, um, so every little bit of score helps. Excuse me. And anti up helps. I believe it was before the update. It was a hundred score, and now I believe it's 125 score that it gives you whenever you start a life towards your score streak, which is fantastic. Um, this helps you out if. If you're running UAV or like low score streaks like I do, I run UAV, care package, and I think I'm running a Wraith right now, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, it'll help you um, get the, get, you know, these score streaks with one less kill because the UAV is 500 score, the uh, care package is 550, which means you can get these in one to one and a half kills. And the way I have my score streak set up is, I use the UAV, or when I get the UAV, I pop the UAV, my teammates go and kill people, they get me the extra score that I need to get my care package, I'll use my care package, and then um, go from there. And then I'll go into using my Wraith, um, if I get high enough to um, actually get my Wraith, um, or if I can get one of the care package, which is awesome. And then, um, but Annie Up helps out so much. When you're trying to get your score streaks and things like that. Now on my perk three, I use dead silence. This is this class is set up that I can sneak up behind people, be quick, you know, kill them in an instant. And dead silence helps me out in that in that area. You have no sound when you're moving through the map. The only sound that you have is when you boost jump. Um, but that really doesn't really matter unless you have somebody that has um, awareness on. But other than that. You know, it just helps you be more stealthy, helps you get behind people quicker. Like, I was playing on my Xbox the other day and I used Dead Silence. I got behind the whole team, killed their whole team in literally one, you know, area. So, yeah, that's how I, how I run things in this class setup. This is more of just like a run medium to, to low um, range uh, setup. But, yeah, let me know what you think um, right in the comment section. Um, what you think? Um, what guns you want to see me do next? I think I want to do the um, the ICR next or the KN44 next. But I want to hear from you. Let me know what videos or what guns you want me to do videos on. Um, let me know what you think of the new Call of Duty news that has been dropping all week. This has been a big week for Call of Duty. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comment section what you what you think. Hit that like button if this helped you out. Um, and I'll see you guys on the next video.